Alright, welcome to Gran Turismo 2, a game that is roughly as old as most of YouTube's viewers. Now, for this video, I'm just going to show you a really neat little set of races and little things you have to do in order to basically beat the game within three races. Um, it's pretty simple and to the point, and I guess you could say it also takes from the fun, but you know, with a game this age, nobody wants to grind anyways. So, what you need is your International B license. So you can get that right at the start. You don't have to worry about doing anything else. Just get your other four licenses and you're set. Then, we need to go to East City and we're going to go to the Nissan dealership. We're going to buy the Skyline GTS, which is going to be selling for $8,800. We'll buy it. We're not going to do any modifications, tuning, as of yet. For now, we just want to buy this car. We'll have a, about $1,100 left over. And we're going to go to the special events, races, and we're going to go to the Clubman Cup. And we're going to do Rome Short. And we're going to do this race twice. So, the $1,100 that we have right now will ultimately become $11,100. And... From that, we'll tune this car up enough to where we can actually win the race that we need to win with it. For now, though, um, yeah, like I said, you just need to get your International B license. If you want, you can go ahead and get your International A and your Super license. I recommend getting all the licenses because you're going to need them anyways if you want to beat the game. But if you really want to grind out cash, you need to get the International A license because from that, um, we're going to be able to do the uh, Gran Turismo All-Stars Cup, and that is the cup that has a race in it, which, if you win that race, you also win a car that sells for $500,000, but I'm getting ahead of myself. For now, we just want to win the race that awards us a car that can pretty much beat any race in the game, and... You'd, you'd think, you know, well, if it's a race that gives you a really awesome car that, you know, gives you the ability to win pretty much any race in the game that it's not, you know, too overpowered for, then it's got to be a pretty hard race, and honestly, it's not. Um, I don't know why they made the race so easy, but with the car that we're in right now, the Skyline, which you bought for 8800 if you just win two of these Rome short circuits like we are right here, then you'll have enough cash to tune it up well enough to win this race on the first try. If you're decent at the game, if, it, if it's your first time playing, you may have a little bit of trouble with it, but in all honesty, it's not really that hard. So, through the magic of editing, I have skipped through those two races, and as you can tell here, my winning, my, uh, my overall amount of cash, which was originally 1100, has now become 11,100. So, I have completed that race twice, and with this money that we made, we're going to go back to the Nissan dealership in East City and tune up the Skyline that we have so that we can get down to the real fun part, which is um, completing the 80s Sports Car Cup Tahiti Road Race, which will give us the car that I've been talking about for now. We'll go to Tune, we're going to go to the Turbo. We'll have enough cash to do, I think, three upgrades. One of which is the Stage 1 of the Turbo. And we'll also go to the Engine and we'll go ahead and buy a Performance Chip. Just for that extra little bit of oomph at the takeoff. And from that, you should still have just enough cash left over to purchase a Racing Muffler which will top off everything, and um, honestly, all of this isn't necessarily needed. You could technically win this race that we're fixing to do without all of these upgrades, but it is excessively hard. It is much harder without these three little upgrades, and it only takes you five minutes at most to, uh, to complete the Clubman Cup, the Rome Short Circuit. So... It's definitely worth doing if you can just spare yourself five more minutes. Either way, though, now that you've got your Skyline upgraded or not, we'll go to the 
special events category and we're gonna go over I believe it's three pages yep right there to the 80s sports car cup and on the second page of this you'll find a Tahiti Road with a 394 horsepower limit now our car is nowhere near that so obviously we're at disadvantage but like I said uh, Tahiti Road is it's one of the easier tracks, if not the easiest. Well, I'll take that back. The test course or the super speedway or speed ring are probably the two easiest ones. But aside from those, Tahiti Road is a really uh, beginner-friendly course. So despite us being uh, you know, grossly underpowered here compared to these other cars, it's not an impossibly hard race to win. So I am just going to idle and let you watch the race just in case you're curious as to how I do it. Um, it should be noted that I am nowhere near professional at this game. I am not really great at it. I don't really like racing games with analog sticks. So, it's not perfect, but I managed to pull it out on the first try, and I'll just let you watch. that not the you know, best looking of races but 
that's not the point. The point is I won. So, continuing onward, we have knocked out Tahiti Road, and keep in mind, this is only the third race that I've done so far. Um, you know, aside from the amount of time that it took to get the licenses, uh, maybe 30 minutes have passed in the game so far. And we're on day nine, so um, I've gotten all my licenses. So for every license you get, a day has passed, and for every race you race, a day has passed. So that's nine in total. And there is the car that you want, Skyline, Silhouette, uh, Famula. It, it says Famula. I don't know if it was meant to be Formula or not, but there it is. Um, it's a good car. This is not the one we're selling, but we are going to get in it. This is a really good rally car. Now, if you want to make some serious cash, we're going to go back to the special events, and we're going to go all the way over to the Gran Turismo All-Stars Race. And at the... Yeah, here we go. Red Rock Valley, which is the third one down. You need to have the International A license for this, so that's why you need to go back and get your A license. You've already got a car that can effectively win 90% of every race in this game, of all races. Um, the problem is, you know, certain races require a car that is below a certain horsepower, or you have to have a certain drivetrain, so you, know, you can't win every race with this, but you can win most of them. That said, if you really want the best car in the game, then you know where to find it. If you don't, I'll show you. The best car in the game is the Eskido uh, Pikes Peak. Um, and it's two million dollars, so you're gonna have to grind for it. And, you know, when I first started playing this game, that's all I did. It was just, I didn't know how to accumulate a bunch of cash, but that was about ten years ago. And I've learned a little bit since then. So. We're going to uh, take on Red Rock Valley with the silhouette here, and once you get in first, it's pretty easy. I got a decent little lead on them. You can knock out about a minute eight every lap, no problem. And, you know, it may take you a try or two to win the race, but once you get the race down, this track is really fun to, to grind out. It's, you know, it's really fast, a minute, minute or so a lap, and it's not that hard. If you have a decent car, the silhouette should be uh, for you. So you get the 50 grand for winning the race, and you also get a new car. And you'll get both of these things every single time. You know, it's not just a one-time thing. So we've won the race. We've got the silhouette in our back pocket. We've got the Skyline that we started with. And now we have a car that we won that we're not going to use unless you want to. I recommend not. It's a terrible car. It even looks weird, I guess, in my opinion. But the car is the Speed 12, and as you can tell, we've only completed 1% of the game, and we're already basically in a position to win every race. Uh, there's the Speed 12, you can only get it, as far as I know, from winning the race that we just won, and it's a very terrible car, it's, it, it handles terribly, it's not fun to drive really, um, but it sells for 500 grand, and as far as I know, that's the most in the game. So there you go. Um, just grind out Red Rock Valley now that you've got your skyline, and you should be good to go. The rest of the races should be a piece of cake.